on the afternoon of Saturday, the 31st of July, 1999, Jimmy Argus series Hatton delivers a compelling message to every awakening soul and light wicker across the world. As a messenger of truth and representative of the Intergalactic Federation of Sovereign Planets, Commander Hatton urges every single light wicker to recognize their own unique vital role in the planetary transition. The dark energies, desperately trying to hold power, are being exposed by rising frequencies of light. He warns of the constant distractions but reassures that by connecting to their higher self, our dedicated ground crew, light wickers, and truth seekers alike will gain heightened intuition and inner cosmic truth. Commander Hatton passionately calls upon each souled being to embrace their unique, divine purpose, reminding them that they are integral threads in the vast tapestry of God, Aten's cosmic divine plan. Through their direct connection to Creator Source, they are empowered to overcome the earthly challenges that will surely arise as these trials signal they are walking the path of their higher mission. With the planet cycle nearing a pivotal transition, the Lightwickers' efforts are crucial in ushering in the new era of light, love, truth, and peace. He urges them to recognize that all the answers they seek are not distant or elusive, they reside within, waiting to be unlocked. Each answer fits the pieces of the puzzle, guiding them toward their true calling and their role in the great awakening of humanity, and our beloved planet, Earth, Shan. Message from G. Argus Series Hatton To all of Earth's lightworkers, recognizing your purpose helps the larger plan. Good afternoon, my scribe. It is I, G. Argus Series Hatton come in service to the one light, creator God. I have come as one of the hosts of God, as a messenger of truth, and, I come as a representative of the Intergalactic Federation of Sovereign Planets. I present to many under a different names, depending upon the purpose of the communication, as well as the level of growth and awareness of the individuals I work with, and through. Monitor within yourself the energy vibrations I present, and you will recognize my energy. There are distractions galore, these days, upon your orb, as the dark energies struggle to remain hidden from the view of you who continue to march forward, bearing the symbolic torch of lighted truth. Many will effort to snuff out the flame of those who radiate this infinite flame as the vibrational emanations associated with you light because cause the dark ones to know that their games of trickery and deceit are soon to come onto center stage of attention, within the mass consciousness of even the most hardened skeptic. The natural planetary cycle now nearing its end, only to start again new, is facilitating one of the grandest opportunities you ones can have, while in the physical environment. The incoming high-frequency light energy is causing sympathetic resonance in all matter in your sector of space. And thus, the frequency of your planet, as well as of your physical bodies, is quickly moving up, higher and higher, with each passing day. With an increased physical domain frequency, there comes a greater ability for the higher self, the soul you to integrate more fully within your physical consciousness. This, in turn, will bring about heightened perceptual abilities, such as what you once call ESP, extrasensory perception, clairvoyance, intuition, and such. Ones will no longer be able to look you in the eye and tell you an outright lie, without your inner signalings, alarms of sorts, going off. Just as many of you more advanced ones read everything with a discerning eye, and monitor your inner feelings for the ringing of truth, so too shall the average person come to recognize this same inner gut guidance. Ones will no longer accept that which is lacking the appropriate inner response without great question. Those who thrive on trickery, 
manipulation, and such deceits, are already seeing their illusionary worlds coming apart. These dark ones are efforting desperately, and futilely, to shift attention away from themselves, so that discerning ones might focus their high-frequency gaze in another, less revealing direction. Always, dear ones, the dark ones must wear a sign. Always the sign will be of a general low-frequency nature. These ones will rant and rave, and throw tantrums, if confronted. This is often an attempt to intimidate through fear, those who expose them, and to manipulate those who are watching without discernment. Our omission, to ensure that a lighted remnant survives the current planetary transition cycle, has basically been accomplished. Our primary concern now is to ensure that these dark, so-called elite are not allowed to destroy your planet. And though we can intervene directly, if need be, to carry out that mission, we always prefer to work with, and through you, they're in the physical, so as to effect the desired outcome, without direct physical intervention of our craft. Why don't we just come in and save the day? Because that would short-circuit the growth of the majority of experiencing individuals on your planet. Your lessons are for you to learn. We do have many capable higher dimensional ones working with, and through many physically based ones on your planet, who are often referred to as ground crew. Many of the ground crew are now awakening to the synchronicities in their lives, and are beginning to realize that they are part of a much larger, more elaborate plan. Yes, indeed, you each have a role to play. Your individual purpose is for you to recognize. We have given you the necessary tools, teachings, and you should each be going within, and connecting with Creator Source for yourselves. You each are quite capable of going within, and hearing for yourselves. Please note this well, when you effort to connect directly to Source, there is, more often than not, a lot of turbulence generated within, and around you. This is somewhat natural, as the dark, adversarial ones struggle to keep as many of you in the dark as is possible. This can be likened to being handed the football on the playing field, all of a sudden, you become the center of attention, especially by the opposing team. You can use this turbulence as an indicator that you are, indeed, on the proper path. However, no entity, anywhere, can keep you from connecting within to create a source for yourself, if you desire to do so. And yet, you can keep yourself from consciously connecting within, out of ignorance, fear, or simply a strong belief that it is not possible. It is very possible. You each, as an aspect of creator, have consciousness as a result of this direct connection to Source. This is to say that, if you have awareness of Self, then you are basically connected. Your thoughts and ability to reason come directly from your inner personal connection to your Higher Self, which, in turn, is connected directly to, and is a part of, Creator Source. You cannot actually avoid this connection though you may certainly deny it. Denial does not change the facts of the matter, and you will still be connected. The point here is to overly illustrate that you are, each of you, quite capable of going within and recognizing your own inner guidance. This guidance will prove quite fundamental as a tool for you to use, in the process of recognizing your purpose. A general part of everyone's purpose is to gain experience and knowledge. This can be greatly enhanced by learning to tap into higher consciousness directly for yourself. Even my scribe here is not fully aware of his purpose. However, with each passing day comes a natural evolution of thought that helps mold tomorrow. Many will find that, as they learn and grow along their spiritual journey, their purpose, and consequent challenges, will also evolve. 
it is quite possible for ones to come into the physical and fulfill their intended purpose at very early age in life. These ones are often given the opportunity to continue on in the physical, usually as teachers, if it is their desire. Meanwhile, some of you have made a career out of avoiding your personal growth challenges, and thus are almost starving in your hunger for seeking to find the elusive purpose of your life. Another clue for you, your purpose will always involve facing challenges, helping others, and strengthening yourself, spiritually, for as you strengthen yourself, so too do you help all ones, everywhere. Conversely, if you effort to intentionally hurt another, you will be off purpose, and you will feel great negativity in your life. This is because your higher purpose will always have God as part of the overall equation, and thus would not include intentional injury to others. You can expect that, while searching for your purpose, you will become more than you thought you were capable of becoming, the closer you get to finding it. Your purpose is never out there somewhere, but rather, very much a within thing. Your physical environment comes into play, because it is perfectly orchestrated, from a higher level, so as to maximize your ability to see and fulfill your purpose at any given moment in time. When you are on a path that is in harmony with your higher purpose, the resonance from within will cause you to feel wonderfully fulfilled. It will always be challenging, but never does it need to be a struggle, as long as you stay centered within the lighted, higher frequency ranges of God intent. These are general guidelines for you ones, in order for you to most effectively help yourselves. I too have my challenges, and I face each by reaffirming my connection to the one source. From this high frequency position, I am always shown several creative and balanced solutions to any one particular challenge. Perhaps the greatest challenge comes in deciding which soul Yushian will have the greatest benefit to the collective whole. I am Jili Aga Series Hatton. I come in service to create a God of Light, who is labeled, for your physical convenience at this time, through this particular avenue of information flow, Aten, the One Light. May you each find for yourselves the answers you desire. Seek first within, through your inner heart connection to lighted source. Source, The Spectrum, News Review, the 3rd of August, 1999, Volume 1, Number 3, Pages 37 and 38. Editor's Note, to all my listeners and viewers, please check the description section of this video for the source reference links and additional info. From there, you will also have access to the Phoenix journals, which were banned by the U.S. government, along with the initial set of foundational Phoenix journals recommended by Commander Hatton to read, reread, and study first. The journals serve to unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings, and misconceptions foisted upon the masses by those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions, and actions of others from generation to generation, especially those concerning the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda represents an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher meaning one with God. In fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mention that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix journals are the word of truth bestowed upon mankind by the higher realms of light, during this most critical time in Earth's evolution, unto a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support this channel and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.